Yeah. And to say, I'm to assume that the uh, Tevin Farmer got robbed. People, stand up and say it. You saw it. All right, you saw it. Who do you punch. think won that fight? I had Farmer nine to three. I had Farmer nine to three. And I bet you a lot of you out there who know boxing, you had Farmer nine to three. Get out there, contact the IBF, tell them you want a rematch. It's at IBF USBA on Twitter. Uh, I don't know their Facebook, but it's probably the same thing. Write a letter to the IBF, call them, tell them you want to see justice for Tevin Farmer. What's the next step for Farmer after this? I don't know. I mean, I look. I think he's really depressed. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's not a way you want to go in the holidays. You know, that's a kid that went from seven four and one to twenty five four and one, eighteen consecutive wins to earn that shot at a title. And then, you know, look, Tevin Farmer is not Salido or Ramon. He, he's not Mickey Ward or Gaddy. He's not. He don't fight that way. He's a boxer. You know, he's a guy that believes the, game, the aim of the game is to is to land more and score more without taking a lot of punishment. Um, some people may not love that style, but a guy can't be robbed or shouldn't be robbed because you don't love his style. And um, and by the way, Kevin Tevin generally is never in a boring fight. He um, he came off two major injuries for that opportunity. He was shot in the hand, you know, being a good Samaritan. He he had a busted bicep, and he was out for. A, about seven months or eight months before that title shot. Uh, but he still won 9-3. You know it. You had it 9-3. I know it. I had it 9-3. Maybe you could have had it 8-4. Maybe you could have had it 7-5. But there was no way on earth that Tevin lost that fight. So happy new year to Tevin Farmer. It's going to be a better 218. Tevin, we're going to get you another opportunity. Keep your head up, bro. You're the uncrowned IBF champion. Does this derail his potential fight with um, Zervante Davis? Um, it, that's the fucking shame of it, man. It was like there were so many big things out there for him. Um, does it derail it? No, it probably delays it. Probably delays it. But look, I think even Javante watched that fight. He knows who won. Javante knows who won. He knows what's up. So what was the mood like after the fight? It was horrendous, man. I Look, um, it was my mom's 84th birthday. I wasn't in Vegas. The rest of my staff was in Vegas. I literally, fight ended. I walked to the refrigerator to get a beer. Like, I didn't have any doubt. Like, I, I, when I came back and I looked at the TV and I saw Tevin's face, I was like, what, what, what just happened? Like, I, I was in shock. And, and by the way, like, you know, people were saying that, like, trying to see, oh, you know, the HBO guys were too positive for Tevin. I don't care if you watch that fight with no sound. The HBO guys weren't too positive. They had a right. He won the fight. It wasn't a Salido Roman fight. They're too, Salido Roman eat every punch you throw. That's not Tevin's game. He's a boxer. You know, but he's a boxer who won. Was it the best performance of his career? No, he was coming off eight months and two, you know, two serious injuries. But you know what? He fought in a, in, in a manner that should have made him the clear victor. He, he outlanded the guy by about 60%. He landed the crisper and harder punches too. Look at the two guys' faces after the fight. Tebbin didn't look like he was in a fight. And, and the Japanese kid, Ogawa, who I give respect to, he's a good fighter and he fights hard, but he lost. And his face looked like he lost. And the punch stats looked like he lost. And my eyeballs and your eyeballs and most of the fans' eyeballs told you he lost. So, like, Tevin, man, I'm sorry that happened to you, bro. And Ogawa, you know, congratulations, brother, but, like, do the right thing. Give this man a rematch.